Hello and welcome to another episode of Aussie Podcast. It's me, David Baker, back again, and I'm joined by Nat yeah. again. Yes, again. It's funnily like enough, it's like I'm a co-host. Yeah, funnily I enough, I know. Yeah, it's a shame, really. Oh, shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Highlight of the show, over here. You're welcome. Uh, well, yes, uh, we're here again, and we're here to talk about everything. But of course, we've got to start off with the Royals, as do we? we normally do. We do. Yes, we do, okay, great. because we've got some very interesting news this week. Because we're going to talk about the Queen's eating habits. Okay. Yep, yeah, we've just lost everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk the Queen. Eats a banana in uh, not in a suggestive way because that would be inappropriate. No, she <laughs> eats it with <laughs> she eats it with a knife and fork. Would you She's believe? A, I now who doesn't? So <laughs> silence there, silence. It, is, it revealed in a book called Eating Royalty by Darren McGrady, and he says that she cuts the top and bottom off the banana and eats it with a knife and fork because we're not monkeys and we should eat them properly with Doesn't a knife and fork. Doesn't she say something like, that I don't like to take tiny little bunk- bites like a monkey? Yes, yeah, yeah, like so that. we're not monkeys. I like that, I agree with that. Um, I, would I, you, go on. I, I would eat a banana like that. Would you? No. Uh, let's not. see it then. No one, else, the thing is, no one has ever eaten a banana with a knife It's getting the skin off. I like to see this in seen. action. I what? like to see this in action because how would you get the skin off with a knife and fork? It's just going to be like... What do you mean? Hard work, I mean, it? she can take it off. Yeah, she has I, to touch it with her fingers then. I'm, I'm, she's not like saying a I can't touch the banana. <laughs> I'm not touching this banana. One does not have fingers <laughs> to touch my bananas. waving hand. I can't touch the banana. <laughs> But, you know, interesting things as well about her eating habits. Yeah, because it's not just that, right? It's not no, just it's not just... She doesn't just live off bananas. Yeah, that I would know. make her a monkey. Yeah. <laughs> She's also banned pasta, potatoes, shellfish and garlic because she doesn't like a breath to smell because she just talks to a lot of people. That's fair enough. I think What's the garlic, and greets? The garlic thing is fair enough, right? Banned. You don't want to get knighted. You know, you don't want to knight... Sir Bobby Davro. It's Sir Bobby Davro. <laughs> is he, he's a sir. He's he should not. be. He is. should be. It'd be good. I don't think he is. Good but you sir. Don't, you don't want to knight someone and do the whole ceremonial sword thing and just breathe garlic in their face. No. Not... Interestingly, though, Philip loved garlic and used to like, put it all over did. his... Yeah, because he hated people. That's <laughs> yeah, exactly. it. Everybody <laughs> stay <laughs> away. <laughs> I'll have her garlic. But, you know, interesting fun fact about a queen when she eats. Mm. She... Um, Every when she every year at a banquet or whatever, you know, because you always are. Mm. Um, when the queen finishes eating, everyone on the table has to stop eating. That's the cue for everyone to stop. You can't carry on eating if the what? queen stops. Oh God, that'd be a nightmare. I'm a, I'm quite a slow eater, and so I'd probably be like a quarter of the way through my meal, and she'd just finish, and I'd just go. Oh, okay. I've seen you eat a kebab on a night out, and I know <laughs> you're not a slow eater. Yeah, but I'm talking when I'm cutting up my <clears throat> banana with a knife and fork. It takes me ages. It, well, that's the thing. Well, she does take a long time with her meals, apparently. Oh, okay, good. And that's that's the whole point of it. And so you know, no What's indigestion. The potatoes and pasta thing about. You see, maybe bloating. Yeah, okay. She's very slowly as well, so she won't get as much bloating going on. Fair enough. Yeah, good for her. <laughs> Looking after her digestive system. I mean, does everybody, does everybody else get it, or is she being shellfish? Terrible dad sorry, joke. Terrible sorry. dad joke. Move Terrible on. dad Move joke. On. So it's probably one of the weirdest things you've ever he- heard that. And yeah. so talking of very weird things, let's talk about Netflix. Oh, so, <laughs> so weird, that's Netflix. such a isn't crappy it? segue, isn't it? <laughs> Netflix is so weird. I have not weird. got any better at segues <laughs> over here, guys. <laughs> That was rubbish. Yes. Oh, that God. was rubbish, wasn't it? It's actually about the royals still, right? It is yeah, about you the could royals. Have just with that, but still on royals. Yeah, still on royals. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is Netflix have basically canned Meghan Markle's deal, right? Yeah, so this is like they've been paid a crap load of money, yeah. like 200 million, something daft like that, and Meghan and Harry to go and produce all these programs for Netflix. However, one of their first offerings, because let's, let's be honest here, that there's nothing that we've seen out of them yet. We've known about this deal for a while and they have not put anything on the table yet. Right. Netflix is. Were, were they required to, though? Well, you'd think so. You're paying someone a lot of money to do something. You kind of think there's part of the deal where you go, we deliver. Have no, we have no idea. I mean, look, I wouldn't get away with turning up to work and not doing anything well, for a good you've been 12 doing months. It for about 15 years. <laughs> funny, <laughs> funny. So, this was an animated series called Pearl and it was a children's show and it's one of many that's been axed by Netflix because yep. they've lost so many subscribers recently. And this particular show was about the adventures of a 12 year old girl inspired by historically influential Why women it like that? because it sounds so <laughs> unbelievably woke oh my god like, no, i'm sorry so right seriously. but kids do not care right are you 
they Speaking don't. They don't. I, I, used yeah, I used to be one. I used to be one, right? And I will say, right, I did not care, right, that Disney princesses, like all married blokes, and you know, it was all very, you know, traditional, and women relied on fellas and all this. I didn't care. I liked the pretty frocks, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I liked to That's, see the little mermaid because I liked the fishes, which is all, right? all fine, right? But do you know this series was just about a twelve-year-old girl that goes back in time and visits it's like just, historical figures that have done cool stuff? That sounds like great fun, doesn't it? It just it sounds, sounds like boring. It. Peppa Pig, fun. This Have you boring. ever watched Peppa Pig? <laughs> yeah. I've delved into that world. You had it's, to watch that one. It's rubbish. It's <laughs> terrible. Honestly, the, basically, <clears throat> the only words they know is... <laughs> so it's not, it's not exactly... It, it's like Pingu, but modern day. Yeah, well, Pingu's Pingu actually, was good. Pingu's quite Pingu funny. was good. Yeah, Don't okay. not Pingu. <laughs> yeah, that's actually quite funny. But just, honestly, just making a pig noise, that is not... Like, my son is not learning anything from, like, just different levels of snorting. Like, well, he's because, going instead, oh, I'd rather watch a show about a 12-year-old girl not, he's inspired no, by historically no, influential he's not, women. He's not saying anything right now. But in a couple <laughs> of years, when he when he might be learning something from them, I'd rather that he learned something about history or something about people doing something that's empowering rather than going, I know how to snort in, like, three different <laughs> tones. Yeah, but the thing is, though, he's not going to be watching this. He's probably never going to make it to air. Know, but, and that's the thing, is that, you, you know, they They've been cancelled, effectively. Well, markled. they haven't been cancelled. They haven't been cancelled. Yeah, everyone's seen Meghan Markle. Oh, Oof, God, isn't that brutal? Yeah, Oof, well, controversial. How up he is. Doesn't make any sense. <laughs> um, so the problem with all of this is that we're getting... We're, this show has been critiqued by every newspaper in England and it hasn't aired. No one's no one's seen, seen it. it. It doesn't exist. <laughs> Seriously, how can you say... Nobody it's likes so it. It's so woke and it's so lefty. Yeah, it's rubbish. like, oh, it doesn't exist. How do you know what it is? It I'm not buying it. Well, to be honest, I mean, I'd rather watch Finding Nemo myself. Um, or, but Megan's not the only one who's been cancelled um, we've spoken about politics last week we're here with politics again now this is this is an mp who's this is a real cancellation this is and this absolutely is very brilliant. much deserved my favorite this is a, a tory mp called neil parish who's resigned for watching porn in the house of commons jesus christ I mean, and he's admitted like, to it Go honestly on. when you're in this job for a long time you kind of <clears> see <throat> stuff and you just think that's got to be the worst that it gets. And this is just ridiculous. I mean, seriously, how does that happen? I don't... Well, I, I mean, it's quite... He's obviously come out and explained how it happened, or... This is the best explanation well, ever, Well, explanation or excuse, I'm not really sure. But, I mean, just watch this apology now. I mean, it's, it's absolutely hilarious. The uh, situation was that, that um, I... Um, funnily enough, it was tractors that I was looking at, and um, so I did get into another website um, that had a sort of very similar name. Um, and I watched it for a bit, which I shouldn't have done. But my my crime, my biggest crime, um, is that on another occasion I went in a second time. So yeah, a very similar name. Yeah, tractors. And as you do, as rain. you do. I don't know the wheat but, oh, one is obviously right, a big thing that I don't know about. So much cringe, so much cringe, in so many ways, oh, massively inappropriate. I think we've all been in meetings where we've been dawdling and we we've, we've been a bit, you know. Mine's going wandering off in other directions. Where are you going but with this now? I mean, we're not I'm watching not, porn, not, though. Exactly. Like, who thinks, oh, yeah, you know? No. Do you know what? The, the other thing is I've never Googled tractors at work either. No, so I haven't. You haven't done it's either It's not something I'm Googling in meetings either, funnily <laughs> enough. But it, Take note, HR. But, and you raised this, but it does very much bring back memories of, this is basically foreshadowed 20 years in the making yes. by Little Britain. Let's listen to this just as a reminder of what that was. I was then invited to join a group of gentlemen at a party in Brighton, where I was planning to give a talk about education reform. <laughs> However, shortly after my arrival, my clothes accidentally fell off. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> the one thing I would say for Neil Parrish is that, I, I mean, it doesn't excuse any of it, but at least he just owned up to it and just said, I was an idiot, it was stupid, it's completely disgraceful. I would have loved it if I'm he just done. said, yeah, well, keep up on, what of it? Oh let's God. just normalise this. Everyone here has an OnlyFans fans not, account let's, anyway. Let's not normalise <laughs> it, and no, I don't. <laughs> That would have been good, though, wouldn't it? It's like the most unsexy scandal ever. Oh, I don't know. I, I, I like that he just owned it. That's fine. Speaking of unsexy scandals, this uh, situation involving Noel Gallagher is just absolutely bizarre. Yeah. So, crazy stalker, like, next level crazy stalker, this one. So, he reckons he's got this lass who chases him around at gigs, and she's been making suggestive hand movements to him, like, around the world, in the crowd, making her way to the front and just doing these hand movements. I've got to be careful what I do with my hands yeah, here. Yeah, just, uh, <laughs> just like, don't do it. I don't think this don't is do like it, the don't tractor do thing. I think I could probably guess what this <laughs> So, yeah, I'm not going to... Yeah, put your hands down. Yeah, so she's been doing it in the audience, not 
you know, doing the hand movements in the audience. And uh, then turning up at, like, cafes over the road from his hotel. I know, but then it all kind of took a real turn for the worse, right? It's, yeah, go on. Turned go up on. at his hotel room. It's gone knocking on the door and yeah. he's look, looked through the peep hole. And recognised her. Yeah, exactly. And I'm terrified, obviously, called the police. But, I mean, it's, it's quite a weird thing because if you think back to when they started, right, so probably 30 years ago, that's probably, like... It's pretty small. Probably right? normal. Like it's probably quite yeah. normal, and I'm um, like probably they just would end up sleeping with these groupies. I'm um, like that's kind of what the deal yeah, they've was grown up then. a bit now, though. Oh, yeah, they've I know. Grown up. We're a bit more woke up. nowadays. No, no, we're a bit more. Stop <laughs> using that word. Anyway, like yes, of course, but also like it's just actually quite terrifying as like a man in his fifties being <laughs> followed around by this woman making. Suggested- hey, you still got it. Yeah, still got it. Yeah. There we go. I know. That's one, one takeaway. But no, like, I do, I do, I do think it's a really interesting story just to talk about mm. how things have shifted in that time and normalising that kind mm. of thing, and and actually just now accepting that's absolutely madness. Yeah, well, groupies were a thing. You know, yeah. like the Beatles days. Oh, exactly, you know, the women yeah. used to chase them around everywhere, and it was seen as cool. Now yeah. it's like get away. Yeah, crazy. Got kids. Yeah, exactly. bit weird. Yeah, I mean, do you think one of our four watchers or listeners might actually <laughs> well, knock maybe, on my door? maybe <laughs> bring quality streets, please? Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I bought you a razor blade. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't think that's going to happen. No, it's not. Uh, <laughs> but it just shows, doesn't it? Money doesn't buy you everything. Um, although, We're however, not gonna have any. it's not going to You're going to have any money in the UK yeah, right now. Exactly. Not at all. So uh, the Bank of England have been told by a former official that they're duty bound to trigger a recession in order to curb inflation. Now, this goes back to, we've spoken about this for a few weeks now, the cost of women, massive discussion point around the world, uh, particularly in the UK, where people are tight and <laughs> <laughs> speak for yourself maybe in the north I'm not the sure northern I are tight. people i know are tight over there <laughs> no look this is this is something <clears throat> that's obviously happening all over the world and uh, you know we're coming from perth and that's just happened today as we speak the bank uh, the reserve bank of australia has actually um raised the interest rate here so it's happening everywhere it's already happened in the us it's happened in canada it's going to happen in england um i think it's something that was inevitable and probably going to all have to deal with but We've had it pretty good in terms of we have mortgages and home ro- loans and things like that for for some time. There'd be a lot of oldies listening to this. Going, what, what of oh, oldies? Yeah, are they? Well, 29%. Of, our, of our five listeners, our viewers, there yeah, may be so, like well, one oldie. Up, they've gone up one <laughs> since the <laughs> Nogello. Back in back in our day, you know, it was a lot best, a lot yeah. worse than this. You know, suck it up. I yeah. used to have to walk to school with my you know my socks in the snow. Blah 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 blah. But it was also it used to be a lot worse. Inflation used to be what? How many? What percent? Seventeen percent? Something daft like that. Hey, just make the it up. interest rate was like seventeen <laughs> yeah, percent. Interest rate, yeah, interest rate rather was. 17 <laughs> percent so yeah they, well, it, things have been a lot worse and what well, we haven't actually got it that bad but we're not we are millennials after all and we are going to whinge about I'm it i'm not a millennial we are a millennial oh uh, yeah i think we are millennials we're yeah. millennials I know. But Te- we can whinge technically about it. We're gonna whinge. i don't want to pay 40 quid for a, a lettuce so no. yeah, i think we can whinge about inflation Who, who's buying enough. lettuce anyway boring <laughs> 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 Spending all your money on knives and forks and bananas, aren't you? Yeah, well, it is a worry. And it is, um, well, I mean, it's going to make things a lot worse if we have to trigger a recession. It's going to make things difficult as well, obviously, for anybody uh, doing the tour and like ping pong. Fr- Poms who are going back and forth from the UK to here. Um, it's not good. You lose all the money that yeah. way. Uh, not only when you go on holiday on a much smaller scale, but also when, you know, selling houses, people looking to move out here. Any savings that you have. They've lost all the money. All stuff. Yep. Yeah, so it is difficult. It does affect a lot of people's yep. lives in that respect. You know, people looking for a life-changing move right now, post-COVID, it could have a huge effect if the uh, UK did go into recession on a lot of people's lives, a lot of people's pensions yep. and uh, all the rest of it. Um, so, yeah, bad news everywhere really in that on that front yeah yeah much better news however scott and charlene are getting back together <laughs> <laughs> neighbors well we don't know that they're well, getting back together well you know they get they're coming back on neighbors does anybody even remember they they've they got to get up? back they've, they've got to hook up again i don't know what did they ever split up i don't I, know like you know i can't what? even remember i was a bit more of a home and away person i'll fess up i mean yeah but look i think they left in like the late 80s i think her in 88 and him in 89 or something like that they so had the big wedding the big, yeah, scott big and wedding. charlene's yeah, wedding 20 million viewers in the uk 20 million that's a lot of people yeah that's insane like i'd probably I mean, count for popul- population growth now what would that be that's a third yeah but like what would it be now equivalent 23 million yeah well there you go 23 million <laughs> yeah i don't know but, but shocking obviously a lot it's probably I, I, <clears throat> I don't know this off the top of my head but it's probably still the biggest thing since then i would have thought i don't think anything it's would have taken that in terms of viewership everyone watched it i watched it, even though i'm a woman away person so there we go but yeah so they're coming back they're joining the 
well, I'm assuming it's a, an array of cameos from all the different people that have left mm. over the years coming back for the final. Kai women Minogue and Jason Donovan, however, we're talking about. Oh, you know, we're yes, not of talking, course. Yeah, they're yeah. not, not <laughs> real. <laughs> yeah, they've got they're real names. They're not real people. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And so, yeah, it'd be amazing to see them back. And I did, like, I'd be really interested to see how many people tune in because I think it would be one of those kind of semi-monumental things where just everybody kind of watches it just even if they didn't care about it the first time around yes oh well, it's yeah it's massive and, and you know we've seen i've seen the back. reruns umpteen times we put on tv is bounce it's, coming back i don't know that's the dog Prob- i don't I didn't know who that not. was a toady toady toady, toady. He's, toady. he's been in it forever uh, yeah he's, he's been, been in, for in it for massive amount of time <laughs> yeah, yeah. like veteran yeah yeah no. has he done anything else i think everyone's just gonna always know him as toady, i think he was in mission impossible too he wasn't. No, he wasn't. <laughs> That'd be that. brilliant. Yeah, no, sorry, he had just, me there. I he had me. That up. Sorry, that's not true in any way. But yeah, it'll be good to see them back and it'll be good to see how that goes. I'll be, yeah, I think it'd be quite an interesting event that, you know, is worth tuning into. Talking of interesting events worth tuning into. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Segway. Yay. Look at this. So, yeah, we've got Man United, Crystal Palace, Aston Villa, and your favourite yeah I'm not saying the word you say it not say it I Leeds, don't say it Leeds swear United. word swear word <laughs> um, they're coming over to Perth yeah um, we're getting all these clubs come over uh, well, during the off season yeah. um, us Perth is there's a lot of us poms over here that I'm sure will be going along to this um, you, see, you saw Man United the first time yeah, yep. when they came here yep. so did I I sat in the Leeds end with my Huddersfield gear on oh, wow. I know I didn't get beaten up so we wanted to try you and tried again. your hardest <laughs> but yeah I mean that's pretty but yeah I'm, like, I remember last time round a lot but there's a lot of kind of <laughs> negativity maybe whingy pommy type attitude towards this it's like oh they're not going to bring their full teams and they're not going to but it was well good. dennis lilly says they will so he says dennis when, lilly he says ronaldo <laughs> the australian cricketer <laughs> dennis <laughs> Irwin. No, did i just say dennis <laughs> lilly i did didn't i <laughs> <laughs> Dennis Irwin, yeah, Dennis Dennis Irwin, Irwin who was says an ambassador that, for Man United. He says that Ronaldo's yeah. coming, so I mean, if he, he'd know, you'd think. I know. Look, um, Do you think he'll come? I I'd love to see him I come. I don't know, because there's obviously a lot of speculation that Ronaldo will leave in the off-season, that he might go to PSG or somewhere else, and so, yeah, he might not be here, but, you know, he may, it may well also be in his clause that he has to come out for that kind of thing. So, I'd love him to come out. Look, if he does that would, come out. That would fill up to stadium. If he does come out, he will play, because they played all their best players last time round. They did. Like, they didn't necessarily play the whole game, but oh, it's a good, it was a good night out, and I think everybody enjoyed it, and look, I've got a lot of fans, uh, a lot of friends that are... You've got a lot of fans? I've got a lot no, of fans. No, you haven't. I've Where got, are they? They're not got, listening to this. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I've, got, I've got so many fans. No, I've got, I've got a lot of friends that are Aston Villa supporters, and a couple that are Crystal Palace fans, and like, they will never typically come over here. So I think it's a great oh. thing for them to go and get to see that. And at Optus Stadium, which is great. And, you know. I'd like to see that place absolutely packed out. Yeah. So we get more of this. I saw Chelsea when they came over. I know a swear word in your parts, I know. Mm. Um, but yeah, absolutely fantastic. Great to see the place full. Great to see a proper football atmosphere as well, because you don't really get that over here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you get the AFL, you know, you get Fremantle. Oh, free, oh. That's yeah, that's the real, only song they sing. Chant, no, it, yeah. they, no, they don't um, No, they don't threaten to kill each other in the stands Again, or anything. That's probably anything a positive, fun. though, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> But it's it's just the atmosphere of a yeah, British football different. game that you just don't get. Well, I'm not going to start picking up Leeds fans because we don't like them, but I am going to say that they do bring a good atmosphere yeah, with yeah. them, and, and they are loud. And, and I think if you are living here and you and you're not English or you've never been to an EPL game back home, you should definitely go along and just experience it because it is a, yeah. it's quite different. To it's going to be freezing though, right? It's just going to be a proper British atmosphere. You might have to wear End a, of what, July, freezing. It's going to be 18 freezing. degrees, and you might have to wear a jumper. Yeah, chuck it down. <laughs> I remember Chelsea game. It absolutely threw it down. I'll have you know. I got absolutely drenched at that game, so we had to buy a blue umbrella. Cost a fortune. Anyway, <laughs> why does it matter that it was blue? Because oh, you know Chelsea, Chelsea. Chelsea. Sorry, no, get it, get it. Um, yeah, it's going to be freezing, which will create that lovely British atmosphere. Yeah. I think it'd be fantastic. It's great to see more soccer over here in Perth. Yeah. We don't get enough of it. Sorry, football. We don't call it soccer. I know. I know, I'm falling into that trap. Fantastic. Very excited. Yeah. Just as I am excited about Huddersfield getting to Wembley, it's going to happen. It is going to happen. Yeah. I'm feeling it. Yeah, Everton well, are going to come down. I'm feeling it. Okay. Leeds are probably not, unfortunately. I don't know. That, yeah, that could all go lots of different ways. Um, it'd be interesting to see how that plays out. Obviously, the championship ends this week that we're talking. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you can't really. Oh, you can get automatic, but you're probably it's not, not going to happen. happen. We need to score like 20 goals, something daft. Yeah, and so the rest of the promotion kind of playoff stuff is almost set in stone. And so mm-hmm. it just, yeah, it'd be interesting to see how you get on. But um, yeah, I'm playing your lot next season. We're not going down. Yeah, we'll, we'll be up there. Uh, <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> All right, on the, our terrible jokes, I think I have to come to an end now. Yep. Um, it's, it's about time we gave everybody's ears a break and eyeballs a break. If you're watching, well, make sure you subscribe. Um, we'd love to have your company. Hit the, the subscribe button, the little bell as well, so you're getting alert. 
Um, thanks. And hopefully we'll see you next week. Yeah, and see you, Dennis Lilly, because you're a <laughs> <part of> the <thing. laughs>